All right, welcome back everybody. Very dark day today with the overcast skies and that low sun angle here at the end of November. A very Novemberish day here, but a uh, live look on top of McDonald Pass here and uh, not much going on. It was above freezing earlier. Temperatures will drop below freezing here over the next couple of hours with some snow showers going through. So that goes for uh, McDonald Pass up over the Boulder Hill, Elk Park, Rogers Pass as well. So if anybody's traveling near the Continental Divide, there will be a little snow here overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. 38 degrees now out in the Helena Valley. Kind of inverted where we trapped some cold air and also a little pollution uh, out in the valley. Some smoke from uh, prescribed burns going on around the area. Great Falls though, 46 degrees. Southwest winds gusting up to 36 miles per hour. Here is the cold front just off to the west of the capital right now. This will come down the divide very quickly here and we'll likely see a little in the way of some rain snow showers coming through the capital area. Great Falls should be dry. Missoula 32 with freezing rain falling right now. They're inverted in the uh, Bitterroot Valley there, but where we've got the wind, we've got some warmer temperatures. It's calm for the time being in the capital. That wind will increase here once that front goes through. If anybody's traveling down to around Bozeman, West Yellowstone, uh, through around the Ennis area, down through uh, Reynolds Pass here, Madison Valley could see a little snow here tonight and tomorrow. Really, that's for around the West Yellowstone area, expecting about two to four inches of snow. And from Livingston, east on Interstate 90, through Big Timber, almost all the way to the Columbus area, we will have strong crosswinds coming down off of the Absorcas and the Beartooth Mountains here. So uh, watch out if you're traveling on Interstate 90 tonight until about early, early tomorrow morning. But there's some of that wet weather here in the western part of the state. Notice how it's coming very close to the capital right now. That is McDonald Pass right about there. So a little precipitation increasing. It's a mix of rain and snow around Drummond. Once again, around Missoula, freezing rain falling. So overnight tonight into tomorrow. Notice the snow showers here along the Continental Divide. A few snow showers could come down overnight through around the Helena Valley area. Better chance for the higher terrain around town to pick up a quick little coating of some snow. But heading into Wednesday, some mountain snow showers. Very very strong winds, west winds uh, for a lot of the state here, especially north central Montana. Cut bank down through Great Falls over across the high line here. Uh, clouds clearing by tomorrow afternoon and evening. And Thursday actually may start out with a little cloud cover here, but really Thursday's a quiet day. The wind dies down and we won't have much in the way of snow here. Oh, a nice uh, bit of sunshine here by Sunday after by Thursday afternoon, I should say. But there's the Continental Divide and there you can see some of that snow here falling right on the Continental divide maybe a little bit over uh, the big belts through the little belts there so Deep Creek Pass and up over Kings Hill Pass looking at some snow as well forecast for tonight many locations coming down into the 20s a few spots may stay a hair above the freezing point but generally cooler weather with some mountain snow showers here tonight into tomorrow and for Wednesday notice some of that snow shower activity close to the capital area a blustery day highs yeah maybe up near 50 but it's not going to feel that warm because of the wind and again careful traveling over the mountain passes tonight and tomorrow Thursday a quiet day slightly cooler upper 30s lower 40s and then Friday clouds increasing and maybe a little touch of snow moving into the southwestern part of the state I think traveling on Friday really no big deals here uh, Saturday could be another story though. Still a little uncertainty with a lot of energy coming in from the Pacific here toward the weekend, but we could have a good coating of snow several inches from central into eastern Montana here for later Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday. The capital may be a little light snow around Saturday, but a better chance for some snow and colder temperatures on Sunday. And of course, we're heading into the first weekend of December here and Look at that temperatures going down as December picks up here and for Great Falls windy still 51 degrees for tomorrow, but there is some snow in the forecast, maybe a little bit Friday night and Saturday, but more snow likely coming through on Sunday. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you for that, Curtis. And as temperatures go down, basketball starts to heat up in my understanding at least. You know, that's probably the best way to put it. And if you guys stick around coming up after the break, we'll get you updated on the Grizzlies basketball team.